Hey everybody, welcome. It's day six of the Golden Goblet, hoping for a little redemption today. Look at whole Borvad, dude. He's too cool for school with his green man undershirt. His casual <laughs> camouflage shorts. It's a dream come true. So I learned, you know, the less we think about our swing timing, the better off we tend to do. Now you want me to hit it 299.7, that's going to be tough in 12 point or 12 mile an hour wind we don't think about our stroke timing anymore we just stroke nice, pure swing. i'll take it we, we were deviated a little bit we had a little natural uh hook on that but i think it's going to keep us on the fairway and at least our swing timing was perfect oh we're in it we're in like flynn on that one i mean we didn't achieve our oh apparently we did achieve our goal <laughs> shows what i know um, so this has got, it's got quite the carry on it. Keep in mind, we're good. the wind is prodigious here. I think this is going to be pretty solid. God, look at the drip, dude. It felt fast, but it, it apparently looks good. Carried a little further than I would have liked. And this is for birdie. I want my board. We are rolling down. Honestly, I think we use resin on hole one. I don't want to be defeated by strat strategy here. I mean, that's going straight in the putt if we get the, straight in the hole if we get the power right. Looks good to me. Oh, this one could drop. That was a beautifully played. Oh, look at that! Look at he's pog, dude. That was a beautifully played hole. I got very few complaints about that. We got a par four. We want to be over here. The wind is very difficult here. The wind is fairly difficult. Just get ready. Take a deep breath. And pog up. Oop, that's a shank. Oh, get out of there. Dude, the tree, the tree left us in the rough. At least it wasn't in the sand. All right, well, we know what we're doing. We got to two-hit it out of here. Better. Okay, there you go. You're going to have a chance. We haven't done much chipping so far. We're chipping uphill. I was going to say, this This could be a good opportunity for a splash, actually. It carries 13 yards after it splashes. Are you insane? Maybe this is not a good time for a splash, but we're doing it nonetheless. A little fast. I felt the speed. I felt the speed. Here we go. Let's let's save par. On Quite this. far out for par. You know what? Okay, it's coming down, so we're hitting uphill. We don't want to deviate too much. I think that looks good. Even this looks good. It's getting there. Let's just pop this in and grab a bogey. If it weren't for the first stroke going so awry, everything would be totally fine here. But okay, five iron. I'm gonna be honest. Ten mile an hour wind. We got a club up there. Although clubbing up to the hybrid is a little can be a little spicy. But I think this is pretty much where you're gonna want it to be. But I think this is a situation for sure where you're gonna wanna, you know, try to. Nope, that's not what... What am I doing here? Situation where you're going to want to try to get it to dip. I think we actually need to... Can we do this? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. No, no, no. I think you want to... I think you're going to want to go with the... Honestly, I think you might just want to send the hybrid then. If I could put some backspin on it, that'd be nice as well. Yeah, let's, let's try it like that. It's going to be hard to get this on point, but we're going to, we're going to do our best. Right around here, I think. I'll take it. I'll take a, a fast. Little fast, little slow, no problem. Very slow. That's where I want to throw the freaking controller. Very acceptable performance there on hole three. Well, let's analyze this green. Got a little movement to the right, a little movement to the left. 
Otherwise, pretty much straight with a slight roll downwards. I think we need a little right, but not much. Like that. Little heavy. I think if we didn't hit it so heavy, it would have had more time to be impacted by the roll. Looking pretty good. I always overestimate the roll. So we'll take the par there. We'll take the resinless par. This is a par 5. Score par or better without hitting any hazards. We get some XP. So all you want on this one? Smoothness. I'll take it. Again, fast is not what I want. It was very close to very fast. <laughs> but I don't know. Fast is like it, it plays well with my... Well, it plays well with the wind, really. Slow is like impossible. So I, I think like this is a spicy place to be. I think we're better off shooting for like here, honestly. I can live with it. As long as it hooks over the sand trap. This is pretty much what I wanted. So we're not upset with that. The lie is a little tricky, but look at that. He's waving. He knows. He knows he's done it. So the pitch is a little spicy. I think we got to go a little further on this one. Carry of three yards. Pitch is not super affected by the wind, but it is 50 yards away, and it's fairly strong wind. So I think this is good. That was slow. That was perfect. Could have could have even uh, not clubbed down, but just gone down a little. Uh, like, cut the power a little. Pretty even. I think, honestly, this is good. And maybe just a uh, light touch. So light touch. Okay, great. Dude, an unassisted birdie is, is rare in my line of work. Now, we're on hole five. We still have um, two resin. Let's keep it going. This is probably our best played round so far. We tend to go fast, so... Bake that in. We were almost on the slow side there, which would have been pretty bad. But instead, we're going to be right in the middle of the fairway. Cinematically just let it plop down there. 320 yard drive feeling good feeling very very good okay same situation somewhere around here i think is where we're gonna want this one and then just plant those feet shuffle it up grip it and rip it dude couple of perfect swings don't let it get in your head still got two resin remember we still got two resin this, to me, is an ideal resin spot. Fifth hole, potential birdie if we nail this. We're hitting uphill, so I actually think like this looks pretty okay. And w I mean, that's as perfect as it gets as long as we nail this. Looks good to me, brother. It looks good to me. This is a good round of golf. He hit me with the tiger. Let's go, dude. All right. The wind is indeed a little blustery. 15 mile an hour. We're using the 5 wood. It's got some nasty carry. So I think we want to be like, this would be a dream come true. If this could just work out for us. Be perfect, please. Oh, that was a fine swing. Thank you. Fine swing. It did because of my... My timing was good, but my swing placement was bad. So it's actually going to bounce away. So it was actually not very good. Well, better luck next time. <laughs> But that's okay. That's okay, John. Don't get down on yourself. I actually like this. I like this one right off the bat at 90 with, with a little wind coming in. Don't mind the slowness. As long as we get over that hump, we should have a good chance to get a, a, a par on this one. We are hitting uphill. I don't think we need much. We're getting in the groove. We're getting I can tell. This is day six. We're finally getting it. Hole seven challenge. Drive the ball 289 yards. It's a theoretical possibility. Great. Oh, I mean, what can you say? He's finally he's finally gotten some swing timing down. Consistently. Now it probably won't last, but I'm happy to have uh, had the chance. All right. 
We wanna we wanna overshoot this. The wind is gonna is gonna trick you. The wind's gonna trick you on this one. I don't even. Th I think we might want to club up and then pull it down, and then. It's a touch tricky. Little little more loft so it's more affected by the wind. Oh, I reset it. Little more loft so it's more affected by the wind. Little bit of backspin so it dies as soon as it hits. And then send it in. Dude. Something's happening here. We did get way more <laughs> affected by the wind than I even anticipated. And we do have resin. But I think in this case, I save my resin. We're hitting combination uphill, downhill. I kind of like this. Hit it slightly too hard. And we were, dude, we were way off. That, that was a good resin wow. situation. It's okay. A resinless par. Hole eight at minus two. The wind is a blowing. You're not wrong, John. The wind is a blowing. Carries really far. So you you know this this one could easily put you in the sand trap if you're not paying attention. I think we want something like this. Little slow. With the wind carrying it, this could put us in the rough. Oh, or the green or the fairway could bounce you in exactly the right way to keep you where you need to go. So we'll, we'll chalk that up as a little bit of luck. And a three wood for a par five. I mean, dude, if it gets you there, this would be insane. Remember, we can hit 101 power. One on one power, perfect. Wind's taking us cleanly onto the green. Now let's be real. That's not the green. That's the fringe. <laughs> but this is for eagle. Carries an extra five yards. That's so we're gonna just take it down slightly. A little slowness is not going to be great there, but that's okay. And we want putt resin for birdie here. We have one last resin. Might as well use it. Hit it way too hard, but still got in there. Ladies and gentlemen, we hit a minus three. I didn't realize we were only on the eighth hole, dude. Otherwise, is this not the same hole? It's the same hole, isn't it? Maybe I'm a little insane. Beauty of a swing there. Not really, but I think the wind is going to save us. Thank you for your niceties, John. I do appreciate it. I think we're going to curve and stay on, but just barely. And this one's about one I would have saved my putting resin if I had known that uh, that we still had one more hole. If only it said in the top left that we weren't on the ninth hole yet. Okay. That's a joke, because obviously it did. Honestly, I think the wind's going to take us in here. I think this is totally fine. Perfect swing. Relying on that wind to get us up there. We're going to carry a lot. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And I actually like the chip approach. Let's not adjust it. Our adjustment last time cost us. As does my very slowness every time. Ladies and gentlemen. By far our most successful round ever. We, we got a minus three and a black glove. 250 currency. I can definitely live with this. This is a pretty good performance. For now, I'm going to close my door before we record the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed this way. This is our best chance at, at redemption, is getting the gold on this one, if possible. For now, though, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Like is just a way to tell the algorithm, hey, show this to more people. So I appreciate it. It's the best thing you can do for me as a content creator if you're uh, 
if you enjoy the video. Check out Dan and Mouse Perspectives. Their channels are linked in the video description below. And go to goldengoblet.net to see how we're all doing. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya! See ya!